So Illumina unveils AI software to predict disease-causing genetic mutations in patients. The AI boom has been mostly centered around the big AI companies, NVIDIA, Google, Microsoft, OpenAI, etc. That's the space that everyone's watching. That's where all the money is flowing. But there's something else brewing just out of sight. In order to understand what's happening, it's important to understand how Google's DeepMind solved protein folding. If you're already familiar with this, use the video chapters to skip ahead. In 2020, DeepMind's AlphaFold 2 solved a 50-year-old biology challenge. This is one of the biggest advancements in AI and structural biology in decades. In this video, I will explain simply what this means and what advancements we can expect next. The first thing to understand is that there are amino acids, which are the basic building blocks of life. Think of them like Lego blocks. With those Lego blocks, we can build proteins. So amino acids and proteins are both the building blocks of life, but they are also the machines that make life work. That's what allows us to see light, to move, to breathe, and to metabolize the things we eat. Each protein has an intricate shape that defines what it does and how it works. We know of over 200 million of proteins, and that number is going up as we discover more and more. But humans have been pretty bad at understanding the exact 3D shapes of all of these. So if we're looking at a Lego castle, we know which Lego pieces are used to build it, and we kind of know what the castle looks like. We just can't build an exact replica of it. Unravel a protein, and you'll see it's like a string of beads made up of 20 different types of amino acids. Interactions between these amino acids make the protein fold, as it finds its shape out of almost limitless possibilities. For decades, a community of scientists have been working on a way to figure out a protein shape just from its string of amino acids. This is a major challenge in our understanding of biology. Our ability to understand protein folding would allow us to understand the actual machinery that makes life function. The sequence of amino acids is folded into a unique and specific 3D structure, which determines the protein's function. It's important to understand that a string of amino acids can fold in many different ways. In fact, that's an understatement. To give you an idea, the number of atoms in the universe is 10 to the 82nd power. Yet the number of unique ways a protein can fold is 10 to the 143rd power. These are unimaginably large numbers. So basically, it would take an enormously long time to go through all the possible configurations. Yet proteins can fold in seconds or less. This, by the way, is called the Leventhal's paradox. So out of the 200 plus million of proteins that we are aware of, we were able to determine the exact 3D structure of about 170,000 of them. We did that using X-ray crystallography, which, by the way, was what Walter White from Breaking Bad was really good at. His breakthroughs in X-ray crystallography is what allowed that multi-billion dollar company, Gray Matter, to form. That's completely unrelated to anything here. I just thought I would throw that in. Anyway, AlphaFold is able to take our existing data set of proteins, whose structure we know, and then predict the 3D structure of other proteins that we do not know. This is an important thing to understand. Without AI, it takes us hundreds of thousands of dollars and years to map out these 3D structures. It's slow, it's expensive, and it's very limited. But with AI, we are able to have it predict new protein structures with ever-increasing accuracy. As it predicts more protein structures, our datasets grow and allow us to improve the AI's ability. Why is this important? How will we use this newfound understanding in the real world? Well, the ability to understand protein function would allow us to know the unknown functions of proteins in our DNA, as well as quickly designed new proteins that alter the functions of other proteins. This would be massive for pharmaceutical development, for our ability to understand and to change the genome. This would allow us to treat many diseases, create biomaterials that we can use in building as well as agriculture. Tissue and organ regeneration might be possible, as well as supplements for health and anti-aging. In the long term, it would allow us to create biological simulations and potentially lead to being able to engineer biological life as well as many, many more things that we probably can't even think of right now. AlphaFold's predictions could enable progress in all sorts of areas. 
Imagine a future where we can understand diseases more quickly and develop drugs to fight them. Or one where we could use enzymes to break down plastic waste, or even to capture carbon from the atmosphere. All with the help of proteins. There's a lot more work to be done, but unlocking the shapes of these building blocks could help scientists better understand the natural world, and perhaps expand our knowledge of life itself. And people are noticing this. More and more attention is being paid to the biotech companies where neural networks can be used to accelerate progress. People in this space believe that massive progress will be unlocked at the intersection of AI and genetics. Neural networks are great at swallowing large, unmanageable amounts of raw data and spitting out valuable insights. And that's what a big part of genomics is. It's vast amounts of data. That brings us back to Illumina. It's a massive company that is a global leader in genomic sequencing. Genomic sequencing is very basically the process of making DNA readable. So let's say you have a blood sample or a spit sample. You run it through a machine to sequence it. And on the other side, you get the exact structure of your DNA, the actual data that you can read, print out on a piece of paper, or feed into a database. And there are now global efforts to sequence everyone and use AI to process the data. And there are some smart people taking note of this. Peter Thiel is a German-American billionaire entrepreneur, co-founder of PayPal, Palantir Technologies, and Founders Fund. He was the first outside investor in Facebook. The guy made a lot of money. Now he's investing in Ultima Genomics, a competitor to Illumina. Ultima Genomics is coming out of stealth mode after raising $600 million from investors including Andreessen Horowitz, Peter Thiel's Founder Fund, etc. That was in 2022. Carl Icahn, the billionaire corporate raider, launched an attack on Illumina, buying up shares and trying to land some board seats. That was 2023. Stanley Druckenmiller, who is considered to be one of the best investors of all time, recently added 25 million of Illumina to his portfolio. This was May 2023, but that number might be a lot higher since there's a delay before they have to disclose their positions. With that said, I feel like we're going to start seeing a lot more action in this space. Specifically, biotech, where AI can play a big role, will start growing at a faster rate. Genomics, personalized medicine, modified organisms, etc. Keep in mind that with things like CRISPR, we can pretty much modify DNA in any way that we like. For those who are not familiar, CRISPR operates as a kind of molecular scissors, allowing researchers to precisely cut a DNA molecule at a desired location, either to disrupt a specific gene or to introduce a new genetic sequence. So just like we can edit text in a Word document, we can edit human genes. Easy peasy. There's just one problem. We have no idea what we're doing. We have a very tiny understanding of what the code does and how it all works together. We can edit the code, we just can't edit it safely, and we have no idea what it's going to do. AI neural nets seem like they would be the perfect thing to make sense of all of this, potentially giving us a much stronger ability to control our health, as well as develop biological materials, and potentially even create bacteria that can eat plastics or produce biofuel. But all of this is still borderline science fiction. We know it's possible, we have some idea of how to do it, but nothing that is functional at scale, at least right now. With that, let's get back to that article about Illumina. So Illumina unveils AI software to predict disease-causing genetic mutations in patients. It's exciting to see Primate AI 3D, that's the name of the AI that they're using, and the latest in AI technology combined with the most advanced DNA sequencing capability, said Francis de Souza, Chief Executive Officer of Illumina. Helping clinicians and researchers keep up with the vast quantities of genomic data now being generated from our platforms holds the potential to exponentially accelerate the critical work underway to better serve patients. According to the National Institute of Health, the amount of genomic data being generated is approaching 40 billion gigabytes each year. The ability to share, analyze, and interpret genomic data is critical to unlocking discoveries that will advance understanding of human health and improve precision medicine. To achieve its state-of-the-art performance, Primate AI 3D utilizes deep neural network architectures similar to ChatGPT and AlphaFold, but is trained on genome sequences rather than human language. They note here that, unlike ChatGPT, where you know we know what the text says, it's a little bit harder of DNA because we don't know what a lot of it is. And to overcome this, Primate AI 3D effectively uses natural selection to train the parameters of the deep neural network using millions of benign genetic variants identified through the sequen sequencing of 233 diverse primate species 
the largest such sequencing effort of non-human primate species to date. The result is a deep neural network that has been shown to identify disease-causing variants with superior accuracy in all six clinical cohorts that were tested. And the big deal here is the accuracy of genetic risk prediction and their elimination of ancestry bias. The, this testing is going to be very personalized. If you don't fit a certain group of people, that's okay because a lot of this is going to be tailored to you. And the application of the latest advances in AI to genomics opens tremendous opportunities for Illumina in both genetic risk prediction and drug target discovery by decoding the basis of complex genetic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and autoimmune diseases. So what do you think? Is this kind of a big deal? Is this the next AI frontier? Or is this still way too early to be talking about this? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.